Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks for cleaning fuel injectors. Since I made my first video in 2017, I have done so many tests for cleaning fuel injectors. If you haven't seen my latest video for cleaning fuel injectors, where I explain and show all the steps in detail, I highly suggest to check that video out later. But in this video, I will only show some of my ways to get the best result when cleaning fuel injectors. As you guys can see in my last video, fuel injector is touching the bottom of the cleaner vat, which it will damage the ultrasonic cleaner if it was more powerful. But since it's 42 kHz, it's not a big deal. That's why high hertz ultrasonic cleaner comes with cleaning basket. But there is another benefit if the injectors are vertical. The waves only hit the tip and break any stuck particles. So I went to SketchUp where I modeled my own custom fuel injector holder and then 3D printed it. Now I can clean fuel injector without touching the cleaner vat. For cleaning agent, last time I used seafoam and injector cleaner and that's what I'm recommending and it works great. I designed this holder specifically for indirect fuel injectors. I'm sure I can use it for direct injectors as well. But if you don't have a 3D printer, there is an easy way which I prefer using piece of mesh like that and placing the fuel injectors on and pulling the mesh till you see the fuel injectors flowing and not touching the bottom of the vat. When the fuel injectors are submerged in the ultrasonic cleaner, the gunk will flow out from the inlet and the outlet of the injector ports. If you take the fuel injectors out with the fuel rail and connect the wire harnesses again, we can test the fuel injectors with its own fuel pump by cranking the engine. Of course, the engine won't start with the injectors out, but we'll be able to see how the fuel injectors working and how are the spraying pattern. And if you have leaking fuel injector, it will be obvious since it's out of the engine. When cleaning fuel injectors, I recommend replacing filter before cleaning the fuel injectors. Most of the time fuel is clogged and you won't get a good flow. Unless you are reverse cleaning it, then it has to be without filter. I will put the detailed video how I clean fuel injectors and how I made wire tester in the video description box below if you wanna check it out. And don't forget that you need to release all the pressure before removing hose adapter. And after cleaning, you might see small particles of the hose like that in the filter. That's why I recommend replacing the filter again and try to use different hose for the adapter as well if you see small particles of the hose. O-rings are very important to check and replace. If the damaged O-ring in the intake side, the engine will lose its compression and the car will misfire, and you will be able to hear leaking air sound near fuel injectors. But if the damaged O-ring on the fuel rail side, fuel will leak and most of the time cause fire. Oiling O-rings before putting them on the fuel rail will provide a good seal without damaging them when inserting on the fuel rail. And last but not least, can we fix all leaking fuel injectors? Well, I have fixed many so far and even showed in my previous video, but this one, no matter how long I put it on ultrasonic cleaner and cleaning it with carb cleaner, and even reverse cleaning it, it is still leaking fuel. Fuel injectors got limited lifetime, and this one has more than 100k on it, and now it's time to replace it with a new one. Hope I covered some of your questions, and let me know in the comment section below if I missed something. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.